Good afternoon, everybody. How are you this Thursday afternoon? It is, today is March <laughs> the 18th. Yes, the day after St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I was kind of glad that I didn't uh, have a live event on St. Patrick's Day because I don't know that I really own much green. <laughs> well, I do. I, I Now that I think of it, I do. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> we are going to make a card today. Let me see if I can get my um, YouTube loaded up so that I can watch comments live here. Let's see. Ah, yay, there I am. Awesome. Okay, so if you're here, say hello. Tell me where you're from. And uh, are you surviving the winter in the middle of, well, it's almost spring. It's not quite spring. I believe, is it Saturday that's supposed to be the first day of spring? I think that's what I've heard. Anyway, um, yeah, we had snow last night and in the middle of the night, but nothing came of it because we haven't had really cold enough weather to make anything stick. So yeah, it's been a little crazy. We In one week, we've had tornadoes and snow. <laughs> That's Missouri for you. <laughs> so, today we are going to make a card uh, from all honeybee products, uh, except for the coloring materials, of course. And I am a little excited about this because I am extending the life of this honeybee paper. Uh, this was the Love Letters paper, and it was... Uh, of course, kind of geared towards Valentine's Day, but actually, I wanted to extend the life of it into spring, and I'll probably use it for summer things as well, because it's got some orange in it, and some red, so of course, red and pink and all of that can be used for other things, but uh, so the orange, I am going to carry that into, uh, into this project today to make uh, a cute little project using the big tailgate or big pickup tailgate or what is this called? Yeah, big pickup tailgate. That's what it's called. And I've done some pre-coloring and some pre-cutting. I'm not finished with all of my coloring. So I will definitely get uh, that completed here on screen. I've used some coloring. I'm, I've kind of used a mishmash of coloring to get the colors that I want. But uh, this is the piece of paper from the love letters that I decided that I wanted to use. And it's kind of like this perpetual, uh, to me, it's almost like this perpetual carrying on it. Hi, Lindy. Sorry, I didn't catch up. <laughs> Did you just say hi? It looks like you just said hi. I need to turn this down. I didn't uh, click on the actual uh, live screen. Sorry. How are you this afternoon? Oh, somehow that didn't cut the way I wanted it to. I was in a hurry when I did this. So yeah, I'll have to cut that down. I've got my cutting, cutting board here. Let's do that while I'm still thinking of it. Um, my cutting here lately, it's a little bit crazy and wonky and weird. I don't know. Ever since uh, John took apart my cutting board to clean it, it's just kind of, I don't know, my cutting is off and I don't know what the deal is. Just not able to. Okay, so I want. I looked like. Didn't it look like I needed about. What did it look like? It looked like I needed about another. Um, maybe another quarter of an, of an inch off of that. So let's go to six and a half here. Or maybe it's just me because I'm just a little wonky today. I don't know. Um, love that. Pa I know. Isn't that paper gorgeous? There we go. Now we have it. Oh, it's that. It's the edge of the the glue on the. Here we can just we can take care of that just really quick. Just run that right along that edge and get that off of there. That'll get off of it. Yay! Now it's gone. Okay, so now we have that taken care of. That looks a whole lot better. Okay, so yeah, so I wanted to create. Now back to this. I wanted to create the kind of the idea or the concept 
of the truck is going to go off into this perpetual um, carrot field, a field of carrots kind of idea. That's just kind of where this comes from. So what I've um, stamped is I've stamped some carrots and some, some grass and a little bunny butt. <laughs> and I love that little bunny butt. That's so cute. Anyway, and we are going to create this card. So yeah, fun, fun, fun. So now what I've done is I die cut this tailgate part out and I'm gonna inlay this onto this piece. And actually I'll just probably take some double-sided tape and kind of get it in there to do the inlay uh, process that I'm looking for. But this is gonna come up on a dimensional. I just thought that'd be fun to give it that illusion of the bunny going in. So that's kind of what I've done ahead of time just to let you know. And uh, so yeah, so this set, Loads of Spring, is where we get the carrots and the bunny butt and the grass. And there are die cuts, of course, to coordinate with that. And I'll just kind of let you take a look at the, the big pickup tailgate. I love this. I love the versatility of this truck. This can be masculine. This can be feminine. This can be birthday. This can be a uh, Father's Day. This can be, if you make it pretty, you put flowers in this thing. This could be Mother's Day too. This, uh, this can go into fall. This can go into Christmas. This is an all occasion set. And this is a must have in your craft supply. It is just, I was, I will be honest with you, I was a little intimidated by coloring this great big truck and it wasn't as hard as I thought. I know bunny butts are cute, aren't they, Lindy? <laughs> fluffy and furry. They're so darling. And so I, uh, I was a little intimidated. I'm not going to lie, but I just did the best I could. And I, I colored it. I honestly could not find my, the gray color that I wanted to use. I just, I went ahead and just went with it. I went with what, and I kind of like it because I kind of like that brown. I think it'll look really nice with the orange. I had intended what I stamped this in, I just should probably let you know, is London Fog, the Memento London Fog. And I wanted uh, the, I wanted more of a, a real gray, not a brown gray. But I'm, I'm okay with what I ended up with. It doesn't look bad at all to me. So that's what I did. I used a mishmash of coloring tools and I will post that on um, the description after I'm done. So there we go. We've got that. So, yes, I love this Best Dad Classic Hugs. Too fast for you. Isn't that a little hot rod? Retirement. Um, all the things that you can put. And even some big stamped sentiments that can go in the, the bigger portion of the, uh, the truck. There's a, um, yeah, just a lot you can do with this. All right. So I'm going to set this right here for right now. And set this aside right here for right now. And let's get, me. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. We're going to color and then assemble this card. I did not score that very well. I've got some pretty heavy, heavy, heavy duty card stock that I've used for this. And by the way, <clears throat> I'll give you the dimensions of this. This is a five by seven card to get this truck to fit on. Um, <clears throat> I suppose if you put it, I don't even know that if you did put it this way, you could really fit it. You could. I suppose you could. I don't know. I'll have to look and see if it'll fit on a traditional A2. But I decided it, I wanted it to be this way. So this is 5 by 7 This is cut down to um, <clears throat> six and a half by five and a half, I believe. Yeah. And this one is 5 by 6 Let's make sure. I won't, don't want to tell you wrong. Uh, five, four by six, sorry, four by six. Yep. And this one is four and a half by six and a half. And there you go. <laughs> I'm doing so many measurements these days. I'm getting kit, monthly kits ready, kits for class for tomorrow ready. Numbers are running all through my brain. Maybe that's why I'm, my measurements are not doing so well lately. Too much, too much, too much. Too much for one person in one week. This is pretty too. Oh gosh, look at this paper. I mean, look at that. Like, I almost hate to put that down because it's so pretty. But I have another sheet of it. I could use that on something else. But oh, how gorgeous is that? 
I mean, you could really alter the look of this and make it, uh, you could put the floral. There's a floral on here as well. Oh, and I wanted to show you, see, this is like give a pig a pancake, you know, give a pig a pancake, then they hop onto something else. So there's a floral and then there's the Easter eggs. And I created this cute little bunny basket for um, a class. We've got a, a a 3D class coming up, and this says Hoppity Easter. It's from this set. Um, these papers are not, these are dare to be artsy, but oh my goodness gracious, how cute and fun. A little mini Easter basket full of little goodies. Who doesn't want chocolate, right? Okay, <clears throat> so that's my little back on track here. Let's put this on. So yeah, those flowers would be pretty if you were to use that side. I mean, that was also an option, but I opted for bunny butts and carrots. <laughs> Darling little bunny butts and carrots. So my grandsons, oh my goodness, they love carrots. I think that's one of their favorite vegetables. They just, they'll eat them raw, they'll eat them cooked. Um, the two grandsons that live here nearby, they love carrots. Now my little Malachi and um, Peyton and Nathan and Weston that are in Florida, they're not picky eaters at all. They'll eat anything. <laughs> they're great eaters. A sort, Josh and Aiden. They're pretty good eaters, but their favorite raw vegetable, hands down, carrots. Call them my little bunnies. I actually have a video of my little Aiden chomping on carrots and we're telling uh, bunny jokes back and forth. The knock knock bunny jokes. Um, yeah, one of them is knock knock. Who's there? Ether, <laughs> the ether bunny, Bethu. <laughs> We're goofy anyway. <laughs> We're silly and goofy. We tell crazy, silly jokes. All right, <clears throat> really pretty. Just oh, I love this so much. There's a subtle green in that, and the the uh, polka dots on that. I love that. Love, love. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that subtle green at all. I can kind of turn that to see if you can see it, but it's just so pretty. It's just so soft and pretty. All right. Let's color. Um, I do have my paper here. So I always have something that I put down behind and Let's see what we come up with for coloring today. I've got some Stampin' Up, I've got some Copic. Um, most of this is not in my store. Um, I'm, I'm giving up that struggle right now. I just, I'm gonna color with what I got and let it be. So I'm gonna go light first. Uh, and I am opting for this color because I think it's a pretty good match. Um, this is more um, on the yellow side. This is more uh, true orange. Colors, so I'm not, I am gonna go with this. So I'm trying to think of the other <clears throat> silly uh, bunny jokes that we were t we would tell each other. Um, I may want to go with my tip. Um, so funny. Let's see, one of them was hip hop. Hip hop who? Um, oh yeah, that's right, it's knock knock, and then it's who's there, and then it's hip hop, hip hop who? Hip hop who way, the Easter Bunny is here. Oh yeah, we just do all kinds of silly Easter Bunny jokes. So I am going to finish this one here, and these are just loaded into the back of this truck here. So I'm going to take, since I've gone over it with my light, I'm going to go dark now, and I'm just going to go dark from the bottom up and pick up. Um, I may not do it that way. Yeah, I will. i got to remember to... Make sure I use that um, 
I'm going to come up like this to kind of blend. And I do use this same technique with Copics too. Um, I can do it. There we go. I'm going to have orange on my hands before I'm done. So that's all I want. I'm not going to put the lid on. Just blending. Yeah, let's just take those um, lids off and let's just do this. It's too much opening and closing, right? It's kind of like the refrigerator when you um, go to cooking. I sometimes just leave it open. <laughs> I'm one of those bad people. I gotta go all over light. I keep my fridge open until I have everything out and ready to go. It drives John nuts. He's like, uh, did you know the refrigerator door is open? <laughs> yeah, I did. So you're just going to leave the lids off of these. That's a little intricate coloring here, but I'm going to make it as simple as possible. So you get the gist of this now. Blend that light up. Let's go, wait, I got a light. Let's go all light. Oh yeah, now we can get a big good area here. Yay! So we're seeing the light of day. Watching paint dry. Speaking of, we are preparing a room upstairs. Um, my husband has this all or nothing theory of, you know, let's bust it. Let's bust out now. And uh, he wore himself out. And now he's had to rest for a whole week. So the room's not finished. That's just kind of how he rolls. He's like, let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, well, you did too much. <laughs> now you're out for a week. But I'm about to put him to work. Helping me finish these kits. Okay, so that's done. Let's see. Yay! Grass shouldn't be as hard, right? And there's that. And I just think a little bit of dark and light gives it just that added touch that it desperately needs. Um, in my opinion. You can see what I'm doing here. Just blending, taking that dark up. Um, like I said, same technique with Copics. Go over it light and then come back with a little bit of dark and then take your light again and blend it in. All right, so now we're gonna do greens. And this green, and I have a little mix of Copic and Stampin' Up Blend, Stampin' Blends. So I have, and that was the pumpkin pie, dark and light. Okay, so I have this G40 dim green, and then I have this um, soft sea foam. And I think I'm, I might just take it, uh, and that's what I used on the truck, but I think I just might take the dark, um, yeah, I might just take them dark. Just kind of color. 
coming in. I don't know. Huh. Maybe I want light. Maybe I want them brighter than that. Let's see. Let's see what we get if we do this. Oh yeah, I like that. So go in with one color and then go over the with the other. Okay, that's what we're doing then. Yay. So pick up this is kind of a grayish green color. Um, and this is pretty bright and it just kind of uh, takes the dark, dingy look out of the um, of this green and brightens it up a little. So that's what I'm going for. A little brighter. Okay. Then we'll do the same for the I'm wondering if maybe I should go for something just a little bit darker for that grass, though. Uh, what do you think, Lindy? Think I should go a little darker? I think I should. Um, definitely. So now I'm trying to decide what color I'm going to bring out some more brightness in it. What color should I use for... Stampin' blend wise, because I don't really have very many other Copic greens. This is probably it. I'm looking over there. Yeah. Oh, mossy meadow maybe. I don't know. We could we'll test it and see. Mossy meadow might be kind of a darker version of this. I think of spring though, and I think of something bright and cheerful maybe. Granny Apple. I don't know how Granny Apple would look with this grayish green, though. I'm going to go one more time. Get it once over. Darker for grass. I'm agreeing with you. I think I agree. I think I, I'm going to, I'm going to test a little mossy meadow on the edge of this paper to see what I think. Okay. I do like that, though. I pulled out some um, old olive to see how it looked with my card, and I didn't like the old olive, um, but I'm going to try the old olive stamp and blend see what we get with that okay Let's see I kind of like this this is the the light mossy meadow I might actually you know what I kind of like that I think I just might do that just color that in I like it better it's gonna add some contrast I think that those tips of those carrots are going to get lost if I color them this light color. So I'm just going to quickly, I'm not going to do any um, blending. I'm just going to quickly go back over them here. Um, I like this color with this. I should have, um, I went with soft seafoam because I wanted it to be more cheerful. That mossy meadow, or not mossy meadow, the um, old olive kind of looked a little too dreary. I wanted it to be bright and cheerful, springy. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you wholeheartedly on the darker for the grass. So, I like this better. And I like this for the tips of the carrots, too. They'll kind of pull each, pull it out. Yay. Love it when it works out. Do I have anybody else on here besides Lindy? It's okay. 
You don't have to be shy. You can say hello. You don't have to say hello either. <laughs> I don't bite too hard. <laughs> that was a joke. All right. That's done. I'm gonna go in this grass like so. Let's first take a look at this. I haven't cut, die cut this grass yet. Oh, so. Okay, so there's two options it looks like with the grass. Maybe. Let's, let's pull this out. Let's see what we got going on here. So it looks like, yeah, we have two options for grass, correct? Yeah, yep, we do. So this would probably be a kind of like, give it a little bit of a lip so that you could tuck it down in. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I smell chili upstairs. Oh, I've got chili on the, uh, yeah. Thank you, Wendy. Um, I think this is, this is an edge and this is gonna actually cut it out so we have a lip on it. So anyway, um, I have chili upstairs because it's it's chili. <laughs> it's it's kind of cool. Did I pick up the wrong one? This seems a little darker than what I was coloring. Uh, light, it's light. That's the color. Okay. It is what it is. It's on there now. Um, I made some chili last night and I, um, our microwave went out. Yes, we're getting a new microwave. I've been, I just haven't had time to go shopping for one. So um, we'll definitely, we're in the market for a new microwave. Anyway, long story short, heating it back I'm heating it back up and now I can smell it. it's on low I put John in charge of it is that not a scary thing Lindy that I put John in charge <laughs> of heating up the, the chili and I can totally smell it it smells so good I hope he doesn't forget that it well surely he won't he'll smell it I love me a good bowl of chili ooh we have hot dogs. That sounds really good. Chili dogs. Doesn't that sound good? Yum. Starving. I haven't had lunch. It is three o'clock central time. It is time to have some lunch. I've been so busy. I did have a good breakfast though. Definitely had a good breakfast. Okay. I'm just kind of filling in here. Now we're going to get our little bunny. This is also, where's my pink? This is also, in, uh, these, this, these two colors are in the store, warm gray one and warm gray three. I used that on some of this truck. This is not in the store. Um, this is R81 rose pink, and I'm going to put that on the little pads of bunny's feet. And the rest of him is going to be this gray. I'm just going to, not fully, but just a little shading of this. Is this, the, this is the three. I don't want three. I want one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way in on the feet. It's so weird because out of the corner of my eye, I can see my movement on the screen. Yeah, John's in charge. <laughs> yeah, it's scary. What was I thinking? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't. That's the problem. So I'm going to get a little darker here. A little light. Just kind of lightly going this way and the rest of it. Yeah, I'm, I'll color it in and I'll make it a little darker on the other side. That's what I'll do. 
I don't want him too dark. All right, that's it. Little bunny butt's done. And now we die cut and assemble. Woohoo! Okay, what did I do with my scissors? I had them right here. Sometimes I think, ah, I'm not organized. I am more organized than I think I am. All right, let's do this. So, and there. I don't know what that would be. Is that going to go through? It might, it might not. Just to be on the safe side, there's a scrap. All right, woohoo! Carrot tops and grass and a bunny's butt. That's what we need. Get all these out of the way. We are done coloring. So that was a light mossy meadow that I used on the carrot tops and the grass. Just an FYI. Um. I got it all, right? Nope, I gotta get my carrot tops. That's a little difficult, but I'm not quite sure which is which. Is that it? That looks like it. Yep, that's it. Good guess. Okay. No, John in charge. Actually, he's not been doing too bad lately. He's, um, I send him to the grocery store quite a bit. I just don't seem to have time in my day for hardly anything except for business and um, my other job. <laughs> this job and my other job. So it's not easy. Okay. Does it go like that? Looks like it. Looks like that's it. Maybe I went too far over. There we go. I think we got it. All right. Taking the plunge. At least the grass isn't too hard to cut in case I do that wrong. Or color that is. It's not too hard to color. It's fast. I just don't want to have to stamp it again. Get you in a second. Okay, here we go. I've been looking at these little minis. Um, there's a new one coming out. I think it's We Are Memory Keepers, and it's at a really good price point, so I think I might pick up that one and put it in the store. It's coming out here. I think it comes out next week, and I'm looking at getting that one. It's like almost, that's a significant, um, the price is significantly cheaper. Okay, I did go up too high. That's not what I wanted. Fooey. Mm, but I think we can still do it, though. I think it still works. Um... Yeah, it works. I might actually carry, I'm going to carry up that green. I'll just carry the green up to the top. See how that works. Like mossy meadow, is that it? I think that's old olive. Yeah. This is. One marker. <laughs> the one. So anybody else screaming, don't do it. Don't take the, don't take the risk. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking that might not be such a, bad, a good idea. I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to do it. I just don't think it's such a horrible... I might 
end up being happier than I thought. Now that's, that's not bad. Yeah, I just didn't want that stark white there. So now I can't, I have the illusion of, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's going to be fine. All right. Here it goes. Yes. Um, and, okay, let's stick that over there. Let's get these on here. And if I don't like it, if I end up not liking it, I always can, I can always cover it up, right? I can always do another one. Pop it over it. Lindy, I'm laughing because the last thing I see is John in charge. And every time I look over it, I'm like, oh dear, John is in charge. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry the live. John's in charge. <laughs> is that, a, that was a show with Scott Baio, wasn't Charles in charge? <laughs> you know, it's funny. We, we kind of laugh at, you know, John's in charge of the kids. Whenever John's in charge of the kids, we kind of get a chuckle out of that, too. It's like, John's in charge of the kids. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, uh, that's funny. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's cute. I don't know if you can see that, but it's cute. It is very, very cute, and I like it. All right. Let's get this bunny. You're not going to believe it, but I actually did a live over on Facebook yesterday. It only took me like 35 minutes. That's kind of crazy. That's unprecedented for me. <laughs> Imagine that. All right. There's that bunny. Okay. Let's get these dies over here so I don't lose them. Die cutting done. So let's assemble. How fun. We'll do our sentiment too. So I am just going to take some double sided tape and um, get that back part of that truck. I always get stuff sticking to mine. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do kind of a, a cheating inlay. I'm gonna put some double-sided adhesive on the back and um, just inlay that. Oops, this way. And it's on. So now it's stuck with some twine, shards of twine. And we could do this also at the top and bottom there with some more double-sided adhesive. And we're going to pop this truck on um, dimensional double-sided adhesive foam. Sorry. And I know you're in here. There you are. So let's do this. I am going to cover some of that double-sided tape. And here we go for the tighter. 
numbers. Tire number one and tire number two. I think I got, eh, let's move you. Yeah, there we go. And then, oh, here, looky here. What do you know? Well, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these stampin' dimensionals for these. That's just, let's hit the easy button. And I've got these handy right here by my side. Let's just use them. These are Stampin' Up's uh, mini dimensionals. Okay. So now I'm going to pop this right here. Yeah. Just like so. Isn't that fun? I love it. Okay. Um, looking like that needs something there. Let's go in between. It, it does need something in between there. So I'm gonna, I don't want it to have any gaps. Okay, here we go. Taking off all these backs and I'm gonna commit it down. Go. I'm bringing up just a tad. Yes. No, no, no. Don't press it yet. We are not over. I need. Oops, sorry about my head. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yep, that's what I needed. I may be turning it. That's what I needed. Yes. Okay. So, it's kind of, um, I don't know how to describe that. Okay. Like one side is not, they're not, it's not, well, I thought it was uh, sym symmetrical, but it's fine. I don't know. that. Maybe it's the polka dots that's doing weird stuff to my brain. I don't know what that is. That's bizarre. Okay, so I am going to uh, glue this down over my carrots. Take this along the edge here. Over the carrots. And um, just kind of do that. Covering up the white. And then we're going to pop this behind the tailgate, like so, just directly. So I'm going to take a little glue across here. And then we're going to put on our bunny. Where's the bunny? Where's the bunny? <laughs> Where's the bunny? The bunny. Okay. Show me the bunny. <laughs> That's actually from Dare to Be Artsy. That's a, a sentiment off of there that is just so cute. <laughs> All right. Um. Now we're going to pop this up. And little bunny... is, where do we want little bunny? Do we want him here? And I definitely want him on a dimensional too. Okay. Okay, let's get this down. Let's just do that. 
that. I'm going to go up as far as I can go with that. And then that's going to work. Is that far enough up? Nope. We're going to tear it. It's okay. Because we're going to need some over on the sides. Is that good? Yep, that's good. Put some down here. We're going to push the easy button on these pieces here. We got some sticking out that needs something on them. Yeah? <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this down here. And maybe move this. And stick it back further, like so. Okay, I think we're good to go. Maybe one, just one more piece at the top. Time to make out the scissors. Yay, hop, hop, hooray. <laughs> now I'm going to take these off. Oh my goodness, how cute. I love this so much. So, so much. So the reason I went ahead and put the um, the soft saffron, soft saffron, the um, soft seafoam, this is soft seafoam from Stampin' Up! cardstock. I went put it behind there just in case, you know, you could kind of see under. I didn't want it to, I just wanted to carry on the same color. So there's that. And now little bunny, little bunny on a dimensional. I think I want him Do you want him over here. He could go right there. Just, but I think let's see what I'm trying to figure out is if I want him further up to make him look like he's actually maybe tilted. Yeah, I think I do want him on demand, some kind of, uh, so I'm gonna put two pieces on that top part. Yep, so his little behind gets two of them. Did I lose you, Lindy? Are you still with me? No pressure. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm just going to stick him here. Oh, he's stirring. I hear him stirring up there. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for a sentiment. But first, before we do that, I grabbed some gems and I thought, how cute would it be to put some gems in there with the carrots? And so I'm going to put some gems with the carrots, kind of at the base of some of these, or at the tips and bases of some of these carrots. Just really cute. Um, let's do one here. 
and then maybe some green light green I'm still here hi Lindy <laughs> and I might put some of this just a few just a couple green let's do a green right up that I it went underneath my fingernail let's put it up here how's that that's cute I like it so I thought a sentiment for this, one sentiment for this would be really, really cute, would be, let's look at these. Where did it go? Um, I'm going to put a sentiment here, and I'm thinking gotta hop is really cute. Um, uh, egg hunt, let's see, what's the other one? I thought there was a um, gotta hop, gotta hop is cute. And then I thought maybe, um, I didn't grab any Easter sentiments for this, but I could easily put one on there. Just stamp it straight on if I feel like I've got, uh, I'm not maybe not brave enough. Um, let's see. Somebody loves you or... Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter works. And then, um, gotta have some bling. You always gotta have some bling, right? Let's just do happy Easter on there. Or hoppy Easter would be cute too, like I had on there. So, um, gosh, that would be really cute stamped straight on there. Am I brave enough though? See, here's the thing, is if I mess up, I can always cover it up, right? Let's just do it. Where did I put? There it is. There's the block. All right. So we're going to go. We're just going to dive. We're going to do it. Um, we can't spend our life in fear, right? What's the worst that's going to happen? I have to put it back up on a... First, let's do this. Yep, we're good to go. Got my glue bottle blocking. <laughs> so, let's do... Perfect. And let's do hoppy. Where's my... There you are. So we're going to do Hoppy A Easter. I like that. I love that. Um, hoppity Easter. That's it. Hoppity. Not hoppy. Hoppity. <laughs> and then we'll do that plate. Oh, I got to put you here because I don't have anywhere else to put you. Clean up later, right? Hoppity. I've already stamped with this, so we should be good with this. But we're going to do it anyway. Hop a tea. Yep. Maybe off like a spring off of the Easter. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I like it. <laughs> I really like it. Um, And now, got to, got to hop. We're going to put that on this. And we'll die cut that out. And I might, yep, we got to do that. I really like this because it can, you can just go with whatever um, flair you want to give it. Uh, if you want it to have a vintage flair you can give it a vintage if you wanted to have a cutesy you can give it a cutesy um if uh, let's stamp that first we haven't stamped that yet one more time hmm. now we are committing 
going to it. So you can just kind of give it whatever um, look you want. This one kind of has a cutesy but pretty look to it. I, I like it a lot. Okay. Go to hop. So make sure that dries. Earth shake. <laughs> so that bling, I don't know if I told you where that was from. Yeah, it's still a little wet. Um, is from both. So this little, the Easter part is from Dare to Be Arts, the hippity hoppity set. And put that back in there so I don't lose any dyes. Um, the, so I've got the Playful Pastels. That's where I got the green from. And the Love Letters uh, is where I got the orange. Honeybee. So that's, just make sure you know where those came from. All that's in the store. Oh, oh, uh, so that Dare to be Artsy set is in the store. I do have this out. I just wanted to show you what a cute little card this is. Made it cuts out her paper. That's in the store. You'll see it. Um, just um, she's just cut some really cute papers and dies that coordinate so wonderfully. Anyway, I had that out and I thought, oh, I'll show that. Okay, let's get this little gotta hop on here, and then I gotta hop. I got a lot to do today. I gotta get hopping. And John's in the mood to help me, so I, I got to grab that while I have that opportunity. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to use this because I got to tuck it underneath and get that situated. Good thing we're using liquid adhesive, right? Cute, cute, cute. Very cute. Gotta hop. And we're done. <laughs> Yay. How fun, how fun, 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 fun. Love it so much. Well, thanks for joining me. Whether you were here live secretly <laughs> or whether you catch the replay, I really appreciate you stopping by. And if you happen to see me scrolling through uh, YouTube, hit that subscribe button and you won't miss when I come live. Um, and you will also get notification and maybe perhaps you could watch later. I'm here every Thursday at 3 p.m. And every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. I'm live on Facebook. So, and also take a look at my little store. I'm not an affiliate. I actually have a little store. It's uh, Purple Pinky Promises. So shop purplepinkypromises.com. Have a good day.